hand in. Five, four, three. This is Dr. Rodney McKay speaking to you from my base of operations in the lost city of Atlantis, located deep within the Pegasus galaxy. You must really be some kind of genius. Well, as a matter of fact, I, um... Wait a minute. See, why would you say that now? Something has to have kept Colonel Shepard from shooting you all this time. Hey, even I underestimate how smart I am sometimes. I wonder why we never hooked up. Well, aside from the fact that you're petty, arrogant, and treat people badly? Do you want to try to fix it, or do you want to continue to berate me some more? I am perfectly capable of doing both at the same time. Now, I like you a lot, too. I know. And to be honest, I, I, I find that just baffling. You know, I just assumed you were dead and I was going to leave. Lucky me. Noticing. Yeah. You are thinking the worst case scenario. Hello, this is what I do. You're not pleasant when you like this, McKay. You always like this. My point exactly. You strike me as the type of man who, despite being weak and cowardly on the outside, harbors a strength of character. He doesn't even know we have. I have become aware that I have certain, I don't want to use the word flaws. So you can only give compliments to the dying? It's something I'm working on. I react to certain doom a certain way. It's a bad habit. I think it's safe to say that uh, I am at times a, a petty, vindictive, even a jealous man. How about I leave the bad jokes to you and you leave the brilliant science stuff to me? Dr. Rodney McKay, all right? Difficult takes a few seconds, impossible a few minutes. It's not a highly evolved super genius, but I've been How's it coming, Randy? Slower than I expected, but faster than humanly possible. I'm going to curl up in bed with the largest sandwich I can.